Hello guys, my name is Bob. In this video, I am going to show you how to find the McLaurin series of tangent square x using the top right hand corners formula. Uh, so the top right hand corners formula shows us that a function can be expressed as an infinite series called a McLaurin series. And today we are going to find out why is the McCoy series of tangent square x up to the x to the power 4 terms. Before I start uh, showing the solution, do help us press the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel for more integration problems as well as the McCoy series problems. And also like this video if you like the solution, alright? So before we are able to find what is the McCoy series, we first have to find out what is the following function. The function evaluated at x equals to 0. Uh, the function differentiated one time evaluated at x equals to 0 the function evaluated two times at, and, and evaluated at x equals to 0 function evaluated at three times and evaluated at x equals to 0 function differentiated four times and evaluated at x equals to 0 because we are finding the McCoy series up to the x to the power of 4 term so this is actually uh, required alright so now we first start off finding what is my differentiated form? So the function, we define uh, the function of x as tangent square x. And the next thing we do is we will differentiate the function one time. Basically, we get 2 uh, tangent x secant square x. Next, we find the differentiated function two times. Uh, and what we'll get is we will get uh, 2 tangent x uh, differentiate with respect to x of secant square x plus 2 secant square x uh, differentiate with respect to x of tangent x. Alright, so in this part we are doing the product rule of differentiation. Okay, what we'll get for the first term is we'll get 2 tangent x. Uh, 2 secant x differentiating the trigo is secant x tangent x plus 2 secant square x differentiating respect to x of tangent x is actually secant square x. So this is equivalent to 4 secant square x tangent square x plus 4 secant to the power of 4x. So this should be 2. All right, 2 secant to the power of 4x. Alright, so we found what is the function differentiated two times. Now we find the function differentiated three times. For the first term, we have to use the product rule again of differentiation. So we will get the following. Alright, uh, let me just write down. So this is for the first term. And then for the second term, uh, it's just basically to differentiate with respect to x of secant to the power of 4x and then we evaluate the whole equation so for the first part we get 4 secant square x uh, differentiate with respect to x of tangent square x is 2 tangent x differentiating the trigo secant square x plus 4 tangent square x differentiate with respect to x of secant square x is 2 secant x secant x uh, tangent x alright uh, last but not least plus 2 Differentiating with respect to x of secant to the power of 4x is uh, 8 secant cube x secant x tangent x. So this secant x tangent x is the differentiation uh, results of the secant x. Uh, and then we realize that this first term and the last term are the same. So they are just basically equivalent to 16 secant to the power of 4x tangent x. Okay. And we have uh, the second term, simplifying it is 8 secant square x tangent cube x. Okay, last but not least, we evaluate the function differentiated four times. Uh, so we have to do a lot of product rules of differentiation in this case. So for, so for the first term, it will be 16 secant to the power of 4x differentiated with respect to x of tangent x. The second term will be uh, 16 tangent x differentiate with respect to x of secant to the power of 4x. For the third one, it would be 8 secant square x differentiate with respect to x of tangent cube x. The last but not least for the fourth one, 8 tangent cube x uh, differentiate with respect to x of 
secant square x. And then now we evaluate this very long uh, equation. For the first term itself, we have 16 secant to the power of 4x. So when we differentiate, we expect the x tangent x is. Can I hear from you? Yes, secant square x. Okay. And the second term, 16 tangent x, uh, differentiate, we expect the x is secant 4x. What would it be? Can I hear from you again? All right, uh, for secant to the power of 3x, well, and then we differentiate the trigo as secant x tangent x. 8 secant square x, uh, differentiate we expect the x of tangent cube x is 3 tangent square x, uh, differentiating the trigo is secant square x. Last but not least, we have um, 8 tangent cube x, differentiate we expect the x of secant square x, what would it be? You are right, okay? It's 2 secant x, uh, di differentiating the trigo is secant x tangent x. We're going to simplify this this whole equation. Uh, probably not, because uh, after that we can actually evaluate it. <laughs> evaluate what is the function at evaluated x equals to 0. Alright, so we now find the function evaluated at x equals to 0, so we start with f0. f0 is basically 0 because tangent x, if I substitute x equals to 0, is just basically 0. f1, 0 uh, is also 0 because it contains tangent x. f2x uh, is basically just 2 secant to the power of 4, 1 basically equals to 2 because secant x is equal to 1 over cosine x and as we know that uh, 1 over cosine 0 is 1 because cosine 0 is 1 so we get 2. f3x is 0 because both of the terms have tangent x and f4x okay when x is equal to 0 all we have to do is to just focus on this first term because the rest of the terms contains tangent x in which when you substitute x equals 0 it will, all the terms itself will be 0. So my first term is uh, 16 secant to the power 6x, basically just 16. All right, once we are able to find out what is the f0, f1, 0, f2, 0, f3, 0, f4, 0, we are able to express the tangent square x uh, as a Maclaurin series up to the x to the power 4. So the final answer to this problem, okay, uh, tangent square x, basically it can be approximated uh, to be the following which is x squared over 2 factorial times 2 plus x to the power of 4 divided by 4 factorial times 16. We further simplify this we will get x squared plus the second one will be 2 thirds because 16 over 24 basically is equivalent to divided by 4 on each side, we have a 4, 6 is 2 thirds, okay? So we get 2 thirds x to the power 4, alright? And that's about it. Uh, this will be the final approximation using the Macquarie series of tangent square x. If you guys do like this solution, press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you guys for your support. My name is Bob and I will see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.